Hello guys, this is my new uh, Rolls-Royce uh, Cullinan. Uh, just bought this little beauty. Um, it only cost me about about 10, uh, 10 million. A uh, bit of pocket change for me. Um, yeah, I chose this. Uh, I chose this uh, interior, lipstick interior. Um, now you've got the uh, steering wheel there. You've got some uh, carbon fiber also. Rolls Royce emblem, GPS. Just signed all the paperwork. Uh, I'm in the dealership now. I've got the keys and I'm ready to drive out the showroom. Um, so yeah. So what do you guys? What do you think, guys? Let's, uh, let's take a look. We've got the suicide doors here. That open uh, from both sides. You got the uh, Rolls Royce umbrella there. Uh, this this also um, just the umbrella on its own cost me about a million. You know, a bit of pocket change for me. You need umbrella if it's raining. I've got to stop all the money that's falling. <laughs> I got the uh, the kind of grey finish on it. You got the spirit of ecstasy there. The uh, famous Rolls Royce emblem. Signed everything, got the keys, just waiting uh, to drive this thing out. It's got some little chairs at the back uh, in case you want to sit at the back. Uh, and uh, there's a little step there if you're short and you can't reach. So yes, yeah, so that's my car. Um, so actually, I didn't buy that car, unfortunately. I am here at the Shanghai 2023 Auto Show. Let's go. Here we are at the Shanghai Exhibition Center, a huge building at around 93,000 square meters at the world-renowned Shanghai International Automobile Exhibition. There's just so many brands of cars, bikes, all kinds of vehicles. It's actually, I don't know many of these brands. Oh, it's some kind of futuristic bike there. Oh, wow, look at the, uh, the model. It's just staring off into the distance. I wonder what he's thinking about. Probably is thinking about lunch because it's two o'clock. <laughs> wow, look at this brand. It's called Car Man. I believe this is a Chinese brand. This car looks amazing. Look at this. What on earth? It looks like that looks like a it looks that looks like Batman's Batman's car. Oh my god, look inside of it. Wow, that is crazy. I've never seen anything like it. Whoa, can we go in? Oh we're not allowed in, it says don't don't step inside. Wow, look, it's also got the, um, the butterfly doors up there. And actually, uh, I snuck in here. You need, uh, you need a pass to get in. Look, everyone else is stuck behind the, stuck behind the glass. But I, uh, I managed to sneak in. <laughs> Porsche over here. This is German brand. Yeah, Sprachen Sie Deutsch? Yeah, I do. Sprachen Sie Deutsch. Yeah. I'm actually not so much of a uh, car expert. Um, there seems to be a space here for a car, but there's no car. Is this some kind of new invisible Porsche? <laughs> Sorry about that. those terrible dad jokes. Ah, this is the new 911 Dakar. It's pretty nice. Let's see if you can spot. Um, see if you can spot any vloggers that you know. Um, oh, there's another. It looks like a very enthusiastic. Very enthusiastic uh, vehicle uh, vlogger there. And then another vlogger there. This video is going to be called Spot the Vloggers. How many vloggers can you spot in one video? BMW, what's this? Hydrogen. Don't tell me it runs on water, does it? There's a foreign vlogger there. I don't, uh, I don't know her channel. I can hear that she's speaking shaman. Yeah, Sprachen Sie Deutsch, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, Berlin. Yeah, there's a Laowai over here He's speaking Chinese. Oh. Wow, his Chinese is his Chinese is really good. Ah, oh, interesting. This, this Laowai is speaking pretty good Chinese. <laughs> Right, I just made it inside Lamborghini now. Um, they're, they're making a really excuse. I had to make an appointment to get in, get in here. Can you believe it? This, this damn Italians won't even let me in. I have to make an appointment. Look, everyone's everyone's standing outside. They, they won't let people in. I had to get an appointment just to, just to see your car. 
and now there's people queuing. <laughs> people queuing just to sit, in, sit inside. I mean, what is this even? Some, some kind of Lamborghini Margariti or something. That's their, that's their new brand. Only costs about nine million. Is it worth it? No, it's not worth it. <laughs> I'm just joking. It is actually quite beautiful. Italians, eh? Italians. Trying to make it super exclusive. I have to book an appointment, don't they? Don't they know who I am? I'm Humbo Wang. <laughs> Actually, Lamborghini, I, I was really a fan of Lamb a Lamborghini until they started doing this kind of appointment thing. What's the point? A car show? If you can't even come close to the car. Look, they're keeping everyone outside. What's the point of it? They're having a laugh. And now I can't even get in because there's about 20 people queuing up on the car. Um, and it wasn't it, the, the staff. The staff is like... It's so much exclusive that the staff won't even tell you any information about the car. I, I had to ask uh, some other guy who's here, who's a fan, and he told me about the car. Um, so it is 0 to 60 in 2.3 seconds or something like that. More than a thousand horsepower. Um, butterfly doors. Whatever. You know, these Italians making everyone wait. Make you wait for the car, make you wait when you order your pizza. I'm leaving. Lamborghini, it's over. Bentley here, and once again, I can't get close. Keeping us all behind the barrier. You know, trying to, trying to, trying to create some kind of exclusivity. I ain't, I ain't got time for that. I ain't, I'm not gonna wait to, to get an appointment to have a look at your car. Ah, we have uh, the Jetour here. Hello. Yeah. So it looks like they're going for some uh, kind of camping on this vehicle. That's pretty good. You can put your uh, the tent fits on top like that. Wow. Let's take a look inside here. Oh. Wow. This is pretty nice. Got quite a lot of room there as well. <laughs> Unlike the Lamborghini, you can't go camping in a Lamborghini. What are you, what are you thinking about? Oh, look at this. They also have a uh, prototype here. This one also looks pretty nice. Wow, look at this. Let's go inside. Ah, oh, it's, it's also got the suicide doors on there. Wow, oh, that is impressive. Wow, look at this. This is like something out of a little spaceship. Oh, look at this. It's definitely like something traveling through the universe. Oh, Look at this one here. I spotted something. You can see it's uh, electric uh, and also you can use uh, petrol too. But it also comes with a cable. So like if you go camping <laughs> and you use this cable and you can power all your kind of like camping uh, stuff like your grill water machine coffee machine i mean can you imagine you go you go, you go camping you can take this with you you've got, you got a coffee machine in the morning when you wake up for camping that is a real uh, that's a real good idea uh, i wonder if that guy can serve me a coffee later um but let's have a look inside of it it's kind of a nice um, color too let's go inside well how do i uh, how do I open it? Whoa! Okay. Man, oh, they, they are really kind of futuristic. Wow, look at this. Massive screen. Man, this is great. I'm gonna have to show uh, Jao this. She's probably gonna choose one. And this will probably be our next car. I'm looking for kind of something that's good for camping. Oh, look at this. Got all the apps on here. This one cost uh, Shu Wan 150,000 RMB. We've got the automatic uh, on the, uh, the boot here. Got lots of room for your uh, camping, and this can you can lift this up, right? Ah, wow. Ah, so this is... ah that's the cable that comes with it, so you can uh, plug in all your stuff. Wow, that is really good. I've never seen that before. You can power up all your kind of camping uh, equipment. All right, let's close this here. Okay, wow, look at that. 
Ah, they've got some kind of little um, camping setup there. That looks pretty nice um, for this car. Hello. Hi. Uh, how much is this car? Uh, 113,000. 130,000. And it's for like camping, right? Yeah, right. Camping, you can put a little tent on the side, bicycle on the top. Oh, it's pretty nice. Uh, pretty nice inside. So it's kind of, this car is made like for when you go on vacation? Yeah, we want people to have a good vacation. This is our black ship car and the sold most. You've got plenty of room here anyway yeah. for your kind of camping uh, your camping and bag. This size can put down. Ah yeah, so then you have even more room. Yeah, and we can uh, sit uh, like a bite. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. And, uh, and the lay down inside. Yeah. Just in case you and your tent's not so comfortable. You have a box in here. Oh wow, well, even more yeah, room. Yeah, you can. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, we're getting, a, we're getting a look at the engine here. This engine we call the Pun Pong. Pun Pong. Pun Pong is a bird. Uh, it's a huge bird in our Chinese traditional history. Ah, okay. So, and it's a very fast and... Uh, and reliable. Reliable. <laughs> so we call it a Pun Pong. Ah, okay. That's interesting. Yeah. Oh, no. Hey, look at this. Look, I come to the Jito booth. They give me a nice little tour around, unlike uh, Lamborghini. <laughs> Wow, this is actually um, this is actually pretty good because um, Zhao keeps saying that she wants to go camping, and I mean this is just the perfect setup to go camping. It's great. Actually, they have a new T2 coming out. Uh, it's actually the price is not revealed yet, but it's going to be cheaper uh, than that one over there. So it's going to be cheaper than 130,000 RMB, and this one is also kind of made for camping. And I must say, it looks pretty ready for it. Um, I bet if Zhao, my wife, saw this, she is probably going to want to buy this one. It's just set up perfect for camping. You can go and have your little uh, little bonfire and sing songs around the fire. And have some... Uh, uh, some... Uh, cow roll. <laughs> some xiao cow. You got your little step down. Um, Zhao will probably need that because she's a little bit short to get in. <laughs> You can also get a T2 uh, in this kind of grey uh, metallic colour. You can see it has a really um, masculine, uh, manly design. Um, man, look at, these, look at these massive rims on there. You can go for some real adventuring in this thing. Um, it's pretty nice. Another kind of uh, city car here for when you're driving in the city, the X90. Uh, also costs around 150,000. Uh, let's take a look inside. It's quite big as well. Wow. Yeah, they do really have a nice uh, interior. Oh, look at this. Again, it's like some kind of futuristic spaceship. Oh, wow, look at the... Uh, look at the scene in there with the stars. They've got a really uh, kind of fun setup here. Much better, much better than all those other... Um, all those other stores. I mean, look at this guy, uh, Darbot. It did a quick young man. Oh, a nine. Eighteen. That's my age. Oh, almost got a bullseye. So close. Sixty-eight. The age of my grandpa. Right now, I'm gonna go on the. Uh, on the slide, um, I don't know if I'm allowed. Uh, if I can go on this slide. Uh, oh, there's no one here. I guess I just can go down. I'm a little bit afraid. <laughs> My God, it's so high. All right, I'm going down. Okay, here we go. I have my shoes on. Can I go down with shoes on? Hi. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Oh. Oh god, oh, I'm oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, there was someone sat. <laughs> there was someone sat at the bottom. I almost just kicked her in the back, but she moved out of the way just in time. Oh man. Whew. I feel like a little kid again. Oh, I think I hurt my back. Oh man, man, this, J this Jator booth is, uh, is doing me in. <laughs> But they do really have some really great cars made for like camping and in the wilderness and just discovering nature, which is which is um, it's 
that's really what I'm looking for actually um, so I am really interested in this car and it and it looks good too there is just so many uh, Chinese car brands that have come in uh, and they're basically they're taking over the market the, the Western car brands they can't compete especially uh, in the electric uh, market because with China they can create uh, manufacture and bring a car to market way faster than Western countries can it just can't compete they're taking over <laughs> Ah, they do have uh, Harley Davidson. Oh, hello. Oh, someone just recognized me. <laughs> they do, uh, they do have uh, Harley Davidson. These look pretty good. My dad is a big motorbike fan. Uh, probably would like one of these uh, bikes. And actually, to film that little bit at the beginning of the video, the intro, I had to sneak in there because I didn't have an appointment with Rolls Royce, right? But there was like a guard on the door there. And he left for a second and I managed to sneak in. <laughs> ah, yeah. Wow, look at this brand. I can't. Oh. Something from the future. Is that a real car that you can buy or is it a concept, uh, concept car? I car. Is it like the iPhone? I car? Huawei here. I didn't actually know that Huawei, they make cars too. Huh. I thought they just made phones. They also do cars. Wow, look at this one. Got a matte, uh, matte black there. Oh, some kind of a concept car here. It seems to be uh, missing wheels. I guess it runs on some kind of new uh, technology from the future. Look at this Lexus. If you go over one single tiny bump, you are done for. <laughs> Look how low it is to the ground. I guess it's not made for that, right? Okay, guys, unfortunately, we have come to the end of our journey here. It's been an amazing day exploring all these kind of different automobile brands. Um, and for me, it was the first time to come to a show like this. So it was really a great experience and I will definitely be coming back again. But now that is the end of this video. So I will see you in the next one. Signing off from Shanghai. Signing off. <laughs>